Hi, John with eTrailer. If you're looking to convert your fifth wheel travel trailer over to a gooseneck, then take a look at this. This is Gen Y's Torsion Flex fifth wheel gooseneck coupler. So how do you know which Gen Y coupler is going to be a right fit for your camper? You can come to the nose of your pin box. This is actually the one we replaced on our camper here. And the part number for your pin box is going to be right here. And our kit is good for the 1621 standard and the HD pin boxes. So go ahead and check your camper to see which one you need. So let's talk about some dimensions on this. First of all, uh, it weighs 155 pounds. This is going to be very difficult to install by yourself. You're either going to need some equipment to lift it up or a few friends to get it up on there. As far as the foot, the actual footprint of it, uh, from, from this coupler to the pin box, it's about the same. Uh, the, the depth is about the same. The only thing that's different is this is going to be two inches shorter and it's going to be that way. It's actually going to move your trailer closer to your cab. In my opinion, that could help with fuel economy, but it's just something that you need to know and think about. Now, the reason that footprint is important is this is what I'm talking about. This is going to push your tailgate back towards your camper two inches. Now, most goosenecks are installed in the same spot on trucks and most campers are equipped the same way to allow for space back here but just you know your camper and if you have any accessories on the front of this it could cause issues trying to get some of these doors open with the tailgate down now this coupler will work for you uh, if your pin weight and that's going to be the the force pushing down here is between 3500 pounds and 5500 pounds this is going to accept a 2 and 5 16 ball uh, the actual unit itself is rated up to 25,000 pounds for towing capacity of course that's going to be your camper and all the gear inside of it um, again this is not something for you if you have a short bed pickup there's just not enough room and your camper could come in contact with your cab when you go to make a turn um, one thing i do like about this uh, versus a fifth wheel is the minute that you unhook your bed's clear you just pull these pins and the safety chains you can haul lumber whatever you want back here you don't have a fifth wheel that you have to keep pulling in and out of your truck just to get your bed space back so my final thoughts on this unit, um, I'm kind of biased on it. I actually had this unit with my camper. I had another horse trailer that I would pull around and instead of having to take my fifth wheel in and out, I just converted to this. It makes a big difference. It's a lot easier. It frees up the bed space. Um, about the only downfall is when you're trying to install it, it weighs a lot. It's 155 pounds. So again, you're going to need either some a tractor or some something to lift this up. Um, you may even try uh, having it close to the height of the bed in the truck with a floor jack maybe, and you're able to do that. But we just had a bunch of guys go and lift it up when we installed this. If you want to see how we did it, stick around. And the first thing we're going to need to do, we're going to have six bolts on either side. Now, just a note, uh, this kit does not come with hardware, so you need to make sure um, that if you don't have grade 8 bolts on your camper, you need to pick some up. Um, our camper has grade 8 bolts. We can identify that. They're going to have six radial lines on the bolt heads, so these we, we can reuse. A grade 5 hardware is only going to have three radial lines on it. It shouldn't be on your camper anyway. Something this size should have grade 8 hardware. All right, my hardware today is 15 sixteenths. I've just got an impact gun with a socket and a 15 sixteenths wrench here. One thing to note as we're taking this out, I'm going to be leaving uh, at least two fasteners per side. Uh, this part is extremely heavy, and you're going to need to have this supported before you pull all the bolts out. Um, as you take this down, you need to be aware uh, of having your arm inside of here and everything else. So we have it supported right now with the forklift. You clear? We just wanted to give you another shot of the hardware here in case your camper does not have it. This is going to require a 5 8 inch bolt, inch and a half long, grade 8. This has locking flange washers on it, a lock washer, and then the nut. You need 12 total. Remember to have your cover plate. Okay.
Now getting this thing up here was the biggest and hardest part of this job. The rest of this is very straightforward. We're gonna go ahead and go back in the same bolt holes um, that the manufacturer had used. This is a personal preference of mine. I'm using blue Loctite. Um, it's just not a bad idea to use blue. I wouldn't use red. Red requires heat to remove and there's just not enough room in here if you ever need to take this off. So we'll just go ahead and get all of our hardware installed back on and finger tight and then we'll end up torquing it to the specs that are found on the installation manual. Now I'm going to go ahead and torque these down in an X pattern. Um, it's, it's a wide plate. It may or may not make a difference. Uh, just for me, this is personal preference. This will just keep everything nice and tight. I've got my wrench on the inside locking the nut down. Now everything's torqued up on our hitch. The only other thing that you're going to need um, is you're going to need some safety chains. These are 84 inch long safety chains also made by Gen Y. We have these available here at E-Trailer. Um, it's, you need them. Uh, it's required by law and it's a, just a good idea and it's a safe practice. So uh, we are going to install them on our hitch there. We're going to have to go ahead and uh, remove this cotter pin and pull this pin out so we can feed the chain through uh, so it's even on both sides. So with the end off your chains, we're just going to go ahead and thread this through the crosshairs. And you just want these even, even length on both sides. And that was a look at Gen Y's Torsion Flex fifth wheel gooseneck coupler.